What attracted me originally was just purely the real estate value of it being located so close to downtown Dallas, only a mile away. But as soon as I figured out what it was and saw it, the history was unmatched. Well, one of the things we wanted to do is bring it back to, as much to its an original basis as possible. So we uh, took the facade back to the original Western theme that was in the 50s. Um, we took out anything within the space that wasn't authentic and put back things that were lost. I mean, anybody can build a music venue. There are a ton of them around, to, uh, around Dallas and they try to be authentic. They talk about, you know, bringing in pictures of people, you know, try to create this authenticity. Well, this is the only place in North Texas that has this authenticity. Obviously continuing to have more and more music here, you know, the regional, regional groups and things that grow to that larger space. Uh, obviously, once they hit it big, they go out of here just like, you know, Ramones and Aerosmith, right? You know, they'd never play this size of venue again. So there's only a few venues this size that bands can grow into. You know, they can start out small and then grow into that. But long term, you know, we want to continue that with new history here. Um, as a developer, I've got some other plans in the area that, that we won't share, but you'll see a lot of change in the next five years here on this property, but also in 